doing some tennis skills and all you need at home will be a tennis ball okay so you'll need one of these before you start and what we're going to do today to start with is you're just going to bounce the ball with one hand and catch it with two okay so we're just going to do this so I want everybody just to practice throwing the ball into the ground with one hand and catching it with two so you may need to react if it goes one way or the other nice soft knees bend them knees as you catch it Okay, so everybody do this, please. Right, and then we're going to take the ball for a little walk now, doing the same skill. So we're just going to start walking around, bouncing the ball, bouncing the ball with two hands. Nice and steady. Reacting to where the ball goes. Changing direction. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. So just chase after the ball, pick it up and carry on. Notice how I'm getting my two hands underneath the ball, making a little cup as I'm catching it like that, and my fingers together. Good, and then if we're getting really good at this now, we might start walking backwards or we could even start jogging forwards. Okay, so everybody start jogging forwards now, bouncing the ball with one hand. Catching it with two. Good stuff. Keep going. See how many you can do before you make a mistake. Maybe see if you can get to ten before you make a mistake. And then backwards, make it a bit harder. Forwards. Good stuff. Concentrate. Make sure you get them two hands under, under the ball. Good, getting really good at that now. Well done. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is going to do something similar. We're going to throw it up with one hand into the sky and we're going to catch the ball with two hands. Okay, so just nice and gently. I want everybody just to throw the ball up, not too far, just above your eyes. Okay, and catch the ball with two hands. Like this on the spot. Nice and steady. Maybe swap hands, go with your weaker hand, catch with two hands every time. Just working on that cup, getting those fingers together like this around the ball. Okay, keep going. We have to where the ball goes, maybe throw it a little bit higher now. And then we can start to take it for a walk again. Start walking around, maybe go backwards. You're having to move your feet now to get underneath the ball every time. Take that cup as you're catching it. Good stuff, keep going. See how many you can do before you make a mistake. Count them out in your head. And then we might start jogging now. We're going to start jogging. Here we go. go. A bit faster. Don't throw it in the sun. <laughs> keep throwing it higher. Come backwards. Even higher now. I think you're getting good at this. Change hands as well so you can throw your weaker hand. Keep going. Do five more. Three, two, one. Excellent. Good. So these are all catching skills. And again, just to reiterate, we're going to try and make a cup all the time. Spread our fingers. So that all we have to do is close our hand around the ball when we're catching. So what we're going to do now is going to go towards a wall and throw the ball into a wall, but along the floor. So we're going to be fielding the ball from the floor with our fingers down. And again, making that cup, but spreading our fingers to stop the ball. I don't want to see people doing this to stop the ball. I want you to have your fingers down to the floor like that, making a barrier. So we're going to roll the ball against the floor. I want everybody to watch this first before you do it. Into the wall, fingers down, pick it up. This is like fielding in cricket or rounders now. Okay, rolling the ball against the wall, moving our feet, fingers down. Okay, everybody start this now. Roll the ball into the wall. And again, good stuff. Roll it into the wall, fingers down. 
Bring this down, that's where the ball's going. You might throw with the other hand now. Throw with the other hand. Notice it's an underarm throw because the ball's underneath my arm. And I'm rolling it. A little bit harder. It's getting easy. Go a bit harder. Maybe get a bit closer to the wall so you've got to react. Keep going. Good stuff. Keep practicing. Maybe move side to side now with the ball. Changing hands all the time. And ten more. Your legs and your back should start to ache a little bit. As you're moving to the ball. Good stuff. Okay, have a rest. Oh, that's quite hard. Right, the next thing we're going to do against the wall, is going to throw the ball at the wall a little bit higher up. So the ball now bounces before you catch it. So it's not going to be rolling towards you, it's going to be bouncing towards you. Okay, just have a minute's rest. These are things that we can be doing all the time out in the garden. It doesn't have to be a PE lesson for you to be practicing this. You can do it any time you want, whether it be a Saturday, Sunday, Morning, evening. Whew, just out of breath a little bit. Right, we're ready. We're going to throw the ball halfway up the wall so it bounces and we can catch it. Here we go. So the further away I come, the easier it is to react. Okay, start throwing it against the wall. Bring us down to the floor as you catch it. Get moving. Maybe throw it with your weaker hand now. Throw it with the other hand. Fingers down. Get closer now. Okay, you've got less time to react to where the ball's going. Okay, let's do another maybe 20. Let's go. 20. side. Left hand, two-handed catch all the time. Good stuff. Okay, have another rest. That was good. Again, these are things that when I press stop on this recording, you can just carry on practicing these skills against the wall. It's going to make you a much better fielder for any of those sports we mentioned earlier. Right, the next thing we're going to do just roll the ball out, just uh, maybe about five metres out, and you're going to chase after the ball as though you're fielding it. Okay, so we're going to roll it out, chase after it, and stop it. Okay, so you're going to roll gently, run out, get alongside it, and try and pick it up with two hands. Watch again. Okay, roll it out and stop it before it stops rolling. Okay, again. Let's all do it together now. Roll out and stop. Make sure you get your head over the ball each time. Roll the ball out. Head over the ball. Pick it up. Back to the start. Okay, let's do ten. Ready? Let's go. That's one. Roll it out. Stop it. Good. Make sure your fingers are down the floor all the time I'm not trying to squash the ball like this fingers down make a barrier keep going five more good stuff keep going two more Stop 
it. And then back to the start. Last one. Pick the ball up and back to the start. Well done. So lots of different activities there and we're going to be doing a few more over the next few weeks. Okay. Just to get the heart rate up a little bit, but also working on your skills. Just to finish with, what I want to do is practice juggling. Now we've only got one ball at the moment, but maybe in the next few weeks you can find two balls so we can start to juggle. So all I want you to do just to finish, nice and easy now, so I'm getting out of breath. Okay, we're going to stand still, and throw the ball up with one hand, catch it with the other, and then pass it back across to the hand we started with. Up, catch, pass. Up, catch, pass. Okay. Let's do 10 with the right hand. Here we go. One, two, catch it in the other hand. Throwing with my right, catching with my left. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, well done. Did you find that easy? Maybe not at first, okay, because we're just catching it with one hand now. But the same thing, spread those fingers, make a cup so you can close those fingers around the ball. We're going to go the other way this time. So left hand up and over to right hand. Ten more. Might be a bit harder because this is my weaker hand now that I'm throwing with. Keep practicing this. If I do 10, you could maybe do 20. Okay, and when this video stops, we practice again. Okay, and make sure that next time we meet, when we're doing tennis ball skills, you're even better. Okay, last one. Good stuff. So, all you need tennis ball, wall. Okay, you just follow through that lesson that we've just done, and that will make you far better as a fielder for cricket, for rounders, lots of different sports where we're chasing balls. Okay, well done everybody, I'll see you tomorrow.